Trees are one of the categories that plants can be placed into. Today, we will focus on the changes flowering plants face in a year. In particular, we will be looking at deciduous plants. I bet this is a new word for most of you, but all a deciduous plant is, is a plant that loses its leaves. Just like animals, Plants are living things and can also be categorised. There are two major types of plants which include deciduous plants and non-deciduous plants. Although not all plants experience the exact same changes throughout a year, many plants, particularly deciduous plants, face very similar changes. These changes occur over the seasons. I hope everyone knows their seasons. Can you call them out as you see the pictures? Summer. Autumn. Winter. and spring. Well done. During summer, leaves cover the tree's branches all over. They grow during spring so that by the time summer arrives, the trees are filled with bright shades of green leaves. After the three months of summer are over and we reach the end of February, the season changes to autumn. During this season, the tree's leaves begin to change into shades of brown, orange and red. Eventually, the leaves begin to fall off the trees and down to the ground as it reaches the end of autumn. By the time winter arrives, the leaves are no longer on the trees and they stand bare. Eventually, by the time September arrives, which is the beginning of spring, flowers begin to appear and blossom on the plants. Some of the things that you need to remember are that deciduous plants lose their leaves and that plants can be categorised in two different ways. One being deciduous plants and two being non-deciduous plants. When you go home today, ask your parents about the trees outside your house. Can you find any deciduous plants at home? 